Welcome to Electra Online, and here's our third example of how to use chemical analysis now that we understand how to find the volume and density of gases and how to relate that to their masses. We should be able to figure out how to do this problem. So here we have a relatively simple reaction. We have nitrogen gas reacting with hydrogen gas to form ammonia. It's a balanced equation now, and they're asking us what volume of the hydrogen gas at one atmosphere and 20 degrees centigrade are required to form 30 grams of ammonia. So they're asking for mass, or no, not mass, but volume, volume of the H2O is equal to question mark. All right, so what kind of equation do we need for that? Well, it looks like to find the volume of gas, we're probably going to need the ideal gas equation. We need the PV equals nRT equation, which means that the volume is equal to the number of moles times RT over the pressure. So I'm going to put that in parentheses here because the key here is the number of moles, because we're going to be able to relate the number of moles of hydrogen to the number of moles of ammonia and then to the number of grams of ammonia. So that's kind of the strategy. We know the temperature, it was given, 20 degrees centigrade. We know the pressure, one atmosphere. We know this is a constant. So we need to know the number of moles of hydrogen. So let's put that there, H2, and this is the volume of H2. That's what we're looking for. And I said H2O, but actually I meant H2, just the hydrogen gas. All right. Next, we want to be able to compare the number of moles of hydrogen gas in the equation to the number of moles of ammonia. So the number of moles of hydrogen gas, N of H2, is equal to what fraction of the number of moles of ammonia gas? And NH3. Okay, now, if we have two moles of this, we have three moles of this. So that means three over two seems like the ratio. If we produce one mole of this, we produce three halves of this. Two moles of this, we produce three of this, and so forth. So we make this two, you get three for hydrogen gas. So it looks like that equation works out just fine. Next, we need to relate the number of moles of the ammonia to the number of grams of ammonia. And the relationship there is that the number of moles is equal to the ratio of the mass divided by the molar mass. In other words, the mass or no, we want the number of moles, so that's good. We don't need to go any further, okay? And so this is the number of moles of ammonia. That would be NH3. So all we have to do is take the mass that was formed, divided by the molar mass of ammonia, and we get the number of moles. We then use that in here to get the number of moles of hydrogen. We plug that in here to get the volume of hydrogen, which is essentially what they're asking for. So first we start in this equation. The mass... 30 grams, the molar mass of ammonia, well, nitrogen has a molar mass of 14 grams, hydrogen of 3 grams, 14 plus 3 is 17 grams, so we go 17 grams per mole, and that will give us the number of moles of the ammonia produced. So we have 30 divided by 17, Oop, let's try it again, 30 divided by 17 equals 1.765, so that would be 1.765 moles of ammonia produced. Then we come over here and find the number of moles of hydrogen gas is equal to 3 halves the number of moles of ammonia gas, which was 1.765. 1 765 moles. And so we multiply that times 1.5. And we get 2.647. That's 2.647 moles of hydrogen gas. Now we take that and plug that in here. So the volume of hydrogen gas is equal to the number of moles of hydrogen gas, which is 2.647 moles. Multiply that times the gas constant, which is 8.314. That would be joules per mole times Kelvin times the temperature. We said 20 degrees centigrade. Add that to 273, that's 293 Kelvin, 293 Kelvin, and we divide the whole thing by the pressure, one atmosphere, that would be 101,325 pascals. Now that, of course, will give us the volume in cubic meters, which are going to be easily transferred to, cubic, uh, to liters, if you like. So times 8.314 times 293 divided by 101,325 equals... It looks like the volume of the gas 
required to produce. That much ammonia is 0, 0 0.0636 meters cubed. And of course, when you divide that by 1,000, you get liters. So the volume of hydrogen gas is equal to, move the decimal place over three places, one, two, three. That would be 63.6 .6 liters of the hydrogen gas to form 20 or 30 grams of ammonia gas. And that's how you do that.